The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Our guest today will be Stan Harley at the break. I wanted to point out to you folks, uh, those of you that get the 24-7 and the updates that I send out in the videos, I sent one out last night around 10 o'clock uh, California time, and um, it was saying that, uh, you know, we had that big run-up on the close, and the ABCD on that measured to, I believe, 45-12. I think it got to 45.21, and then overnight there must have been something news out because when I uh, got up to check it out, I couldn't believe that the prices had dropped 30 handles. And, of course, we went down and took out the previous day's low down at 44.60. We're trading at 44.64 as the last I saw. The problem that we have, folks, is that high that we made yesterday was basically the equivalent of a four-day rally starting on the 11th last Friday. So you had Friday as a three-day rally, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and that's, uh, that's, that's not good. And the fact that it broke down uh, is uh, very, very troubling if you're bullish. And the reason why is when I talked about this at the beginning of the show, the Dow has held. You've just checked the newsletter. I've, I've put large markings all over the chart because we had held a 382 retracement for 11 days. And now uh, if we get below 35,000 even, we're at 35043 right now. That means that that 382 has failed. And, folks, <laughs> there's nothing but blue sky under that. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to bring to you is that it's my two cents worth. And if you pay more than two cents, like I always say, you've overpaid. Okay, the next thing I'd like to talk about is the gold market. I posted here in the den the chart, the weekly chart of August gold. That's the spot gold. Uh, spot gold right now is the December. It trades for about $40 more because of carrying costs and insurance. Uh, so the spot gold, which is the August, is running right about, I uh, just saw it at 1895. That's right, below 1900. So this tells us that if it breaks down and we're setting right at the 50% on the weekly, so if it doesn't, if it doesn't hold this level, uh, then it looks like it's going to be pretty bad. Now we had an order to buy the gold last night at 1933 and we did and it started to rally got up to 1936 and then what I did was I told I sent out a video I said just put your stop at 1929 so you're only going to risk four dollars well the report came out and we were stopped out with a four dollar loss but when that happened I said okay there's something not right so I went down to the smaller time frame looking at an eight minute chart of what happened and you'll see an absolute perfect absolute perfect ABCD that came in at $1,944 per ounce. And now we're trading at $1,935 per ounce. So this is telling us that there's something a little bit different going on here in the gold market. And this weekly chart says you could easily go $100 lower. So maybe it rallies from here. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. All I know is I'm on the sidelines now. And then speaking of sidelines, if you remember, I talked about the wheat trade that we that I really love the wheat trade as my trade of the week. I loved it so much. Well, I loved it so much that my eight cent stop was taken out yesterday while we were on the air. And where is it trading now? It is trading 22 cents lower than where I, my stop was filled. So that's why you put a stop in, folks, because if you don't, there's nobody going to be there to protect you. I can promise you that just not going to happen. you got to protect yourself. It's all part of the environment that we have here as a trader. You've got to come in and say, yes, this is where I can make my stand. And if I'm wrong, you get out of Dodge, you wait for another bus to come by. There'll always be that second girl on the bus. That's why my grandma always told me, always have two quarters in your pocket. Because if you don't find your little honey on the first bus, she most probably will be there on the second bus. 
So I've lived by that creed. I still have one quarter in my pocket after all that time. Anyway, folks, I happen to be in Ojai, California right now visiting my daughter, Laren. It's an incredible place here. It's in the Santa Clarita Mountains here, uh, just south of Santa Barbara between L.A. and uh, Ventura. And uh, Santa Barbara, between Santa Barbara and Ventura. And it's just beautiful, these vineyards. And, oh, it's just, uh, they have a nice little uh, uh, spa here called the Ojai Valley Inn. And it's uh, $1,200 a day. And they're usually booked in advance. It's uh, When we used to come here to have dinner many, many years ago, it was a really fun place to go. But there wasn't a spa then. And it was, uh, you know, really good food and everything. But the problem was that you had uh, so many people uh, coming that they just got larger and larger and now it's uh, just a huge complex that is just uh, it's absolutely uh, amazing to me how how big the darn thing is so anyway getting back to the markets uh, we've got some real serious stuff going on the market may rally today and uh, but if it closes really badly and I mean really badly it's below 44.58 in the S&P and below 35,000 in the Dow Jones E-mini that would be really, really catastrophic because it's breaking major Fibonacci stuff that's held for week after week after week. So that's why we're really paying close close attention to it. That's uh, that's why. And uh, I sent a special video out on it yesterday. The fact that we made that ABCD up there, I said, if you can't short it here, you can't short it anywhere. And uh, that's exactly, it turned out to be uh, pretty good. The gold trade uh, lost four bucks. The uh, we trade it lost 400 bucks but the others have made up for it and of course we had a really nice uh, pattern completing in the uh, euro today that's already made about 500 dollars. so it's been a pretty good day as far as outlining everything that we're watching here but uh, still early today you know we've got another three and a half hours three hours and 45 minutes of trading so anything can happen, and it usually does. That's what they usually tell us. So paying close attention to that, we'll keep eyes on what these markets are going to do. But the close today will be extremely important because if we do close badly today, making new lows, then that is not a good sign. That usually means that you know something is going to be uh, sort of dramatic to the downside. So. I hope that helps. I wish I had more charts to send to you, but unfortunately, I can't post them anymore, and it makes it a little difficult to, and I have no idea why, folks. It was seemed to be working last night. I had all my charts run up to date, and uh, you know what? I just can't find them. They didn't post on my desktop like they should have, and so I have no way of forwarding the charts that, uh, you know, that I'm looking at here. So that's the, the skinny. So let's take a little break here. 877-927-6648. Steve Rowe started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights Firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, okay, folks, I posted the chart of uh, coffee. Don't trade it, but I do look at it. And several people asked me about it last night, so I wanted to bring it up. As you can see, we had that beautiful Gartley down there at that 155. It rallied uh, 11 cents up to 166. And from that level, you can see now we've broken down. We're making new lows. And that means the chart's not coming through. Well, what a big surprise that is. Let's try it again, Al. See if we can get this old puppy up. The good news is, folks, stay tuned because we've got Stan Hardly coming up next. And Stan posts his own stuff. Oh, I just don't like this very much, Al, but nothing else I can do, my friend. So bear with me. I'll try it one more time and then Nebahachi. Uh, I will not be here on Friday. That's going to be a travel day. But I will be here tomorrow. God darn it. Forget the coffee. Folks, if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. I'll be happy to ask her answer them if I can. If not, I'll make something up that sounds plausible. Uh, what I'm talking about today is what's happening in the stock market is extremely important because if it doesn't hold these lows, uh, we're looking at something really uh, sinister on the downside and you don't want to get involved with that. It can easily hold. There's no question about it. There's BlackRock, Grand Camp and Merritt and State Street. They run about 67% of all the volume. And if they want it to stop, they can stop it. That's the main thing. Now, we'll try one more chart because we've been uh, bearish. If you remember, the trade of the week was the uh, being bearish crude oil because we had that big ABCD complete up there at 84.75 uh, on Friday. And since that time, we've been heading lower each time. This is a, the high you were talking about right back here. And now you can see that it's been moving to the downside. And we've actually broken below those levels by more than $2 a barrel. So we're down right around almost ready to break $80 a barrel. We're sitting right at 80.30, I believe, is last I saw. But perfect example of how the 382 works. If you looked at the uh, wheat yesterday, you know, it made a low at uh, 32. Then it rallied up to 46. Uh, that was the 382 of the previous high. And, of course, now we went all the way down to 626. So there's nothing to do uh, in the wheat as far as we're concerned because we stood aside after that trade was not working. And we go and try to keep the trades that work and the ones that don't work, get out of Dodge and, uh, you know, let the market work for yourself. That's what I would be doing. I don't always do it the way I think I will, but that's what I usually try to do. So it's going to be very, very interesting here. To watch how these markets uh, happen. We got gold now is trading at 1936 right now in the uh, uh, December gold. The high has been 1944. And as I mentioned before, uh, we did try buying that. Well, we did buy it. We raised our stop uh, to the 29 level 
and we took a four dollar loss in that and decided to uh, stand aside and watch to see how these other things moved around folks i did have a really nice group of charts to show you but when i posted them to my desktop and i tried to take the picture from the desktop to what we're looking at here uh, it just doesn't happen. It's like it's a ghost and it doesn't want to be found. And that's all you can do is to move on to the next one and not worry, you know, too much about it. I wanted to show you uh, this was the other part that was interesting today in the gold market because after that low was broken, I wanted to say, oh, maybe this market has turned bearish. And so what I did was I went down to an eight minute chart and started watching the gold. And you'll notice here what we do, we went right up to that 1944. We're down trading at 1935, you know, so you'd be in a break even trade in that one. If this thing breaks below that other low, we'll be looking at December gold under $1,900 an ounce, and it's at 1935 right now. Folks, if it can move 20, 30 bucks a day, you could be under $1,900 in a matter of a few minutes in these markets because they're so doggone volatile. So that's what I'm paying attention to uh, here today. But we do have a lot of things that are, uh, you know, really negative uh, as far as uh, the price action. You know, we've got uh, gold. Well, gold is actually down today. We got crude oil down sharply. The Treasury bonds uh, were down, but they bounced back a little bit after the report. But they've been so oversold, they were probably ready to do something like this. Also, the euro light that we mentioned, it had that area up to 109.95. Uh, we're now trading uh, 50 handles low, uh, 40, 9,100, uh, 109.1 as opposed to 109.5. So that's about a $400 gain uh, in that one. So those those are the ones that we're really uh, watching very, very closely here today because this one in the stock market is super big, folks, because that was a three-day rally. And if you want to prove how harmonic these things are, and this was one of the charts that I, I had it, but it's gone now. If you'll just do a 30-minute chart on NASDAQ and look at the last three major uh, rallies. The last one was today. But look at them. They're absolutely perfect. In other words, the number of points in that move is absolutely perfect within 10 points. And that, that tells you that something big is about to happen over there. So I hope that uh, makes sense as we unfold these things, uh, chart patterns that we're looking at here today. We've got... The crude oil is just about ready to uh, break, but well, it's at 80.50, and uh, it hasn't really bounced much at all today. So getting a nice little bounce here in the S&P, it got up to uh, 40.70. Now we rallied about uh, eight handles off the bottom, and uh, but a long way to go for the end of the day, folks. Remember, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. That's a whole key you know, to winning in this business. You can kiss a lot of frogs. And you won't get any warts as long as you protect yourself, if you know what I mean. Because if you don't protect yourself, nobody else is going to do it for you. So that's what we do here is to teach you how to use that protection, use a stop and some type of money management that will keep you in the game. Because if you don't use a stop, you'll be sitting there with a position you think is going to work and you'll be in it three or four months. And pretty soon, you know, it's goodbye house, goodbye car, goodbye wife. And you don't want to have that happen either. So. Always protect your assets, and all you'll always be just fine. There won't be any problem with, uh, you know, catching a good trade here and there. But like I mentioned, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose, and that's what you focus on. Focus on the losses. The profits will, you know, take good care of ourselves. Now, we're going to have Stan Harley coming up. Uh, tomorrow, we have a really another one of our fun guests. They're all fun, but this one is a, an ex-fighter uh, uh, pilot by the name of Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts. He will be our guest tomorrow, uh, right after the uh, beginning of the show at one o'clock. He always has some really good things. Remember about five or six weeks, well, about seven weeks ago, he was on here and said, gee, look at this 382 bearish uh, Gartley that we had in the uh, NASDAQ. And uh, well, you can see what happened. We had to tear the hospital down to build a new one. That's how, how important that darn thing was. So. That's what we're really watching here so far. So I hope that helps. We're going to have a stand coming up here in just a minute, and then we'll be ready to go. I think do we have a caller coming in. Uh-oh, something happened here. Not good. Let's see here. Steve from uh, Austin, Texas is there. How are you, Steve? Yes. 
Yes, sir. What can I help you with, my friend? Hey, Larry, um, I just wanted to thank you for taking my call. I just wanted to ask you on platinum. I mean, a lot of these markets are um, looking pretty bearish right now. But what would be a downside on platinum from your looking at your charts? What do you think would be a downside target? 750. Hope that helps. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we have a great deal of pleasure. I'd like to introduce you to the Master of Cycles, Mr. Stan <laughs> Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. You are a master at this, my friend. I'm not joking. You're damn good at it. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you got for us today, my friend? Well, Larry, uh, I thought we'd uh, go through some charts here that uh, folks might find of interest. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the stock market first, shall we? Let's go. Uh, this is a, uh, a chart we showed uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, this reflects a cycle that spans about 80 trading days. And uh, when I was on the air there with you a couple of weeks ago, I said I thought we were very, very close to making a, a cycle high. And uh, my regression analysis suggested right at the tail end of July, 1st of October, this next cycle should again recur. And, uh, and what we saw was on July 27th, we saw the uh, S&P 500 and the uh, your composite put in a high 
a day or so later, the New York Composite, and then I believe on August the 1st, the Dow Industrials topped out, and we've been consolidating for the last couple of weeks. So wonderful. Uh, what, what so? That's old news. So what comes next? <laughs> uh, trying to trying to think of something cute, and I just didn't come to mind here. It's um, like being in the restaurant business. You never know how good yeah. your last meal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, let's let's take a look at the present. I ran this off just before coming on the air. This again is the S and P 500, and uh, we pulled back uh, fairly nicely. We broke it below the 15-day moving average, which has since curled over. And we're sitting, as you and I speak, right on the 50-day. Um, I'm, uh, I'm of the opinion that uh, we're essentially there from the structure, from the pattern, and from a short-term cycle I'm going to share with you uh, here in a moment. But uh, my analysis suggests a low point in this consolidation is, is, is imminent. It's, it's right here. It's right now. Um, I'm just not looking for much further a decline uh, from where we are right okay. now. Uh, let's take a look at the Dow Industrials now. Um, the Dow, interestingly enough, although it's pulled back below its 15-day moving average, it has not tagged its 50-day like the S&P has. So let's just spend a moment here and let me convey my thoughts on what I think is developing here in this consolidation. Up to this point, for the last several months, the NASDAQ has essentially been the, uh, the leader of the pack. And... Uh, what I think is developing, what I think, is I think we're seeing a relative strength shift from the NAS to the Dow. So the Dow is pulling back fairly mildly here in this consolidation. And I think in the subsequent move up, which I think is going to begin here very, very shortly, I think the Dow Industrials will lead the charge. Uh, now, so when, uh, when does Stan think the next low is likely to occur? Um, here is a cyclical pattern that I have tracked for some time. Uh, it spans about 52 to 53 trading days. And uh, sometimes that cycle expands and contracts. But uh, my regression analysis show that it shows that it comes in uh, just under 53 trading days. And uh, as you can see on the chart, it's done a dandy of job of picking out all, every single one of the lows uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, Back in this time frame, it expanded by 1.5, 1.5, and they get right back on track again, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0. I think we're making a low right here as we speak, uh, if not today, within the next day or two. Um, another one, uh, should the pattern continue without any degree of expansion or contraction, the next one will be due at the tail end of October. And then the next one after that, is due in the middle of January, okay? I think that cycle is gonna invert in January. So rather than make a low, it's gonna make a high. Uh, what I've done in this next slide is I put all the dates of the lows into a spreadsheet and done what's called a regression analysis, which is a mathematical te technique that statisticians use to find the best mathematical fit to a data series. And that's what I've done here. I plugged in all the data points and I've done the, the mathematical analysis. And what the math does is it tells me what the cycle length it is. It's 52.8 trading days. And uh, the standard deviation, which is an important facet to, to understand when you're doing any form of analysis, is one needs to be very mindful of what the standard deviation is. Uh, and the standard deviation in this analysis is just a skoshi woshi over two trading days. So what does that mean? It means, based on the analysis, August 14th, with a 68 probability of the low occurring within about two trading days of that date. So we're within that window right now. Could it occur Stan, another day or two or three from here? Sure, it could. Uh, TFNN just called me and said that said the, ch the charts aren't being posted. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Geez. Oh, yeah. Wow. I just got a, a Skype message or a message on my phone that... Uh, so they will not be able to send you that large check that we send you every two weeks. So uh, could you just, you know, we've got time wow. to do this. You know, we're not in a hurry. So just go through the first couple because, uh, okay. uh, you know, I, I thought I, could, I can see them, but evidently nobody else can. But let's let's just go through them quickly um, so that the folks can see them in there and uh, they can uh, copy them if they like. Okay. Let me see if I can uh, 
solve that problem. Okay. It's the first time we've had this problem like this, but... Uh... Okay. Uh, I hope the charts are coming through now. Um, All right. I'm going to give you a big 10-4 here right now, and we'll be able to see it. And uh, hold on. We'll see. They got them now. We're ready to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know something? I think the error was on my end. I don't you know, believe that for a minute. <laughs> um, you know, I as I go through life, the level of mistakes, the number of mistakes never goes to zero. It gets yeah. fewer and fewer. But, Larry, it never goes to zero. I don't know never why. Never does. <laughs> well, Stan, I, I was driving up to Ojai to be with my daughter here for a couple of days, and I went past Westlake Village yesterday, and I was thinking, when I bought my house, there was two lanes. Now it's five lanes. And, folks, it's five lanes at the Indianapolis 500. Those people drive so fast on that road that, I mean, I must be getting old because I said, oh, dear, I'm going to stay in the right lane on this one. I'm going 75, and they're passing me up. So yeah. I'm glad, to, glad I didn't have well, to go I was through just, that again. I was just just in that same neck of the woods a few weeks ago, yeah. uh, Camarillo, Thousand Oaks, Westlake. I, I know sure. I lived there for 34 years. I, I know it well. I, I remember, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I uh, still had the warm the feeling you always had. Yeah, and apologize, folks. My uh, my bad here, but uh, here's the 53 trading day cycle that I meant to show a few moments ago. And with the purple lines, uh, there are all the lows. Uh, back a year ago, it expanded by 1.5 a couple of times. And then it get right, got right back to its heartbeat again. That's what cycles do. They're not always boom, boom, boom. They're not a perfect clock all the time. They have some quirks that uh, the analyst needs to be aware of. They expand. They contract. Sometimes they disappear for a, a heartbeat or two, and then they come back. Or sometimes they altogether disappear. So they're not a, uh, an absolute perfect mm. uh, tool for the kit. Nevertheless, they're a very darn good tool for the kit if just one knows how to use them. Amen. Um, Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back with Stan Harley, Harley Stock Market Letter, please. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Please continue, young man. Absolutely, Larry. Um, I thought uh, I would just go over again the uh, cycle that I'm looking at here very closely. It spans about 53 trading days. And uh, the purple lines note each of the lows. We had a little bit of an expansion here, 1 1.5, 1.5, and then it got back to its regular heartbeat. And it's due once again in the, in the present time frame. Um, what I've done here in this next slide is I've put in all the data points and done what's called a regression analysis, which is a mathematical technique that finds the best mathematical fit to the data series. And it uh, crunches the numbers and says, okay, we have a rhythm here of about 52.8 trading days with a standard deviation of two. And what that says is look for the time period around August the 14th with a 68% probability of the, of the low occurring within two trading days, a 94% probability of two standard deviations or four trading days and a 99% probability of, uh, of eight. Um, so uh, what that's telling me is we're very, very close to some kind of a low here. Um, whether it's today, tomorrow, the next day, well, we'll know after the market turns, but I think we're, I think we're getting close. Um, yeah. the, uh, the next chart is something that I've shared with the viewers here on your show in the past. I thought I'd just kind of regurgitate. Um, I think that uh, after we make this little low here, I think we're going to push up uh, higher, uh, oh, perhaps into September, and then come down and make another low in late October. And then another higher high is yet to come. And I think it might very well occur with this cycle that I'm showing you on the screen. Um, mm -hmm. This wow. is the New York composite going back to 2015 and springing forth from the lows we had in January of that year is a rhythm that's about mm, roughly two years. Um, mm -hmm. So we made a low in January. We made a high in January 2018. Another high in early 2020. Another high in early 2022. And if the pattern continues, it suggests the next high in this series would be middle of uh, January of 2024. So what's that, about five months from now? And uh, it's something I'm going to be watching very, very closely to see if, see if that develops. Very good. Wow. Okay. Next one, please. Um, one, uh, one last chart brought today. This deals with precious metals. Uh, we've talked about this in the past. Uh, I, I am not a bull on precious metals. I think uh, we've got uh, cyclical pressures to the downside because of what you're seeing on the screen here. Uh, this goes back to 1970. And uh, what I have found here is we tend to make lows in, uh, in COMEX gold uh, every 94 months, plus or minus eight. Mm -hmm. um, that's been a very, very reliable pattern. And when I dump that information into a spreadsheet and do a, a regression analysis of that data, it's, it points to the May 2024 time period. Well, here we are, August 2023. So uh, to expect higher prices from here, I think would be betting against cycles. Uh, of course, this cycle could go poof and disappear or it could expand. <laughs> and, 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 you know, that happens. And yes. it usually does when I go in the air with you and say, hey, looky, looky, you know. <laughs> the cycle gods are up there. They're pulling those levers and turning those cranks and uh, doing their everything they can to uh, make it not work. You probably never had that happen, but... <laughs> Uh, not very often, but just not about every often. other time, yeah. <laughs> but let, let's That's say, sure. let's just pretend for the moment the cycle gods aren't listening right now. 
that says next May plus or minus, <laughs> we should see a low in the uh, in the metals complex. So that's something something else I'm going to be watching for. Okay, that that's really good things. Uh, Stan, do you do you follow the Treasury bonds? I, I keep asking you that, but I I don't uh, I don't remember. I do. I haven't. Uh, I didn't bring any charts for the bond complex okay. today. Um, okay. Uh, next time. Thanks for reminding me. We'll, I'll do that. But okay. uh, yeah, the the bonds are kind of uh, doing a little uh, what I call floor mopping around the area of uh, last October's lows right now. Okay. And. Uh, Longer term, uh, I think bonds have seen their best day in the sun. Uh, we tend to see 40-year moves in the pattern of interest rates and bonds, and that's been a fairly reliable pattern over centuries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the, the last pivotal high in that pattern was uh, late October 1981. Uh, mm -hmm. Before that, we had a low in the summer of 1940. Before that, there was a low in 1900. Before that, 1861, mm -hmm. and so on. So about every 40 plus or minus two years, we tend to get a major pivotal shift mm -hmm. in interest rates slash bonds. Mm -hmm. Of course, when you add 40 years to 1981, you get 2021. And the low in 2020 was certainly in that, in that window of time. So uh, hey, we, that tells got a me call. that the likelihood is high that that 40-year cycle has made its mark once again. Mm -hmm. And interest rates are on the way up not just for a few months, not just for a few years, uh, maybe for decades. Uh, wow. The last several runs lasted 40 years, up and down, yeah, up I, and down. I remember that, so yeah. How long is this one gonna last? I haven't done that analysis yet, but uh, uh, I think it could last for a number of years. I think I can <laughs> yeah. safely. <clears throat> Stan, we got one. a caller, uh, Jeff from New Jersey. Are you there, Jeff? Yes, uh, hi, Larry, thanks for taking my call. I wanted to ask uh, Stan if he happened to have done any cycles work on the banking system, uh, United States banking system, maybe based uh, on the banking index? Uh, I, uh, I, I have, but I don't have any charts for it. And uh, I can't tell you what the pattern is from memory. I'd have to go through my folders and pull it out. But I have done some analysis on it. Uh, just as a j broad brush statement, most stocks, most indices, most sectors tend to move up with the Dow, the S&P, the NAS, the New York Composite. Not all, but the vast majority. Uh, so if one sees the Dow, S&P, NAS, New York Comp going up, that generally, you know, the, the rising tide lifts all boats tends to tends to play out. But uh, I'll try to remember, and maybe next time uh, I'll have, I'll put together some cycles work on that index. All right, thank you. Thank you, Steve. So it, it sounded like you said you're seeing uh, – Equities <clears throat> hitting a bottom here within a day or so. So if we're hitting a bottom in the equities, then you would, and it starts to rise, you would expect the banking uh, equities to, to go up with it. I do. That that's my view. Yes, I think we're okay. We're uh, very very short to some kind of. We're very, very close to some kind of a cycle low. That's that's my view. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks for calling in, Jeff. Really appreciate it. Well, hey, Stan, thanks for joining us today, buddy. And we'll have you on again uh, really soon. And uh, we'll be watching this date really closely. We're coming into some kind of low. So we're going to find out whether it's going to be a big one or a little one. But we really want to thank you for the stuff that you show us because you've been really accurate. And you should be really happy for the things that you do because they've been flat out spot on, my friend. So we really want to thank you again, okay? Thank you. I just need to remember to click the share button yeah. when, uh, when you ring <laughs> the bell. Okay. On we'll, we'll get it right. <laughs> Thank you very much for being on, Stan. My pleasure. You bet. We'll be back, folks, after we pay a few bills here. And uh, think, I think we've got that uh, going on right now. And no, we've got another. Yeah, there we go. We're ready to go now. We'll be right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. 
Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart that I think is the most important. That's the one that shows where we are here in the Dow Jones E-mini. That's at 35,000. If we get below that uh, today, uh, that's below the 382. That'd be the first time in the last 12 days it's that, that has happened. So I think it's important that we pay attention to that because if it does fail, it's going to be pretty nasty, I would think. But as Stan said, this could be the low, could be today, could be tomorrow. But he's looking for a low in here and for a short-term trading. That's what you want to be watching. So I hope that uh, helps you on some of the ways that we look at these charts because they're not – they are predictive, but within relative limits, and that's what the kind of relatives you want to have is that you put your stop in if you're wrong, and that's the bottom line. So, Because if you don't know how much you're risking, you risk it all, and believe me, I've been there, done that, not very much fun at all. We still are looking at markets are just about red everywhere with the exception of the British pound and the uh, uh, British pound and the euro are up uh, slightly. And those are the ones that are red every, or green. Everything else uh, is <laughs> everything is red with the exception of the British pound and also the uh, euro. So those are the ones that we're paying close attention to, too. Uh, we were bullish gold. We've now turned to the short side on the gold market. And uh, whether that's going to be the right side, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, as I showed with this long-term chart that we had, of this long-term weekly that I posted here on the show today, that it is a very negative chart. And as you can see, that last rally high was at 382. And that means that your ABCD measures to, in spot gold, below 1,800, folks. We're trading below 
uh, 1900 today at 18, uh, 80, 1892 right now in the August gold. The December is at uh, 1936. The difference in cost is because of the carrying charges involved. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and I'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. 